Well, good morning, everybody. My name is Paul Warren, and you're watching Bermondsey Daily Message. Beautiful words from the beautiful book. Coming to you from the back of Thorburn Square here in the heart of Bermondsey. Well, this is Bermondsey Daily Message 141. So that means that there's been 165 days since the beginning of lockdown. And uh, thinking about that, all those days have passed by. And I wanted to ask you a simple question. How are you? How are you getting on? Are things feeling pretty, pretty hard? Or uh, are you getting by OK? Well, if you're anything like me, then you're going to be feeling pretty fed up. I think I've had enough now. I really thought that this would all be over long, long before now. I thought we'd be back to normal and everything would just be as it always was. But it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. It looks remarkably like we could be stuck with this dreadful pandemic for a lot longer yet. Some of the estimates say it could be nine months more. Some say two years. Some say it would never, ever go. We're going to have to get used to living in a very different way than we have been in the past. And that makes me a bit fed up. It makes me a little bit down, I suppose, if you like, and anxious about what might happen in the future. Even though things are starting to go back, the kids are going back to school and um, their churches are back reopening again, the shops are open, the buses are running again, all those kind of things. People are being encouraged to go back to work. But it isn't the same. And we're all living with a sort of a fear about what might happen in case lockdown comes back. If the, in cases of uh, the spikes that have been springing up at different places happened here where we are what would it be like how will we cope well where do we turn where do we go when there is feelings like that within us well the best place to go is to go back to God and if we look into Psalm number 46 what we read there at the beginning of Psalm 46 is this let me find it for us Psalm 46. I've lost my page here, so do bear with me for a moment. Psalm 46 says this. God is our refuge and strength, our ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. Though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the sea, though the waters roar and foam, and the mountains quake with their searching. God is our strength and our refuge. What an encouragement that is to know that he is there for us. No matter what the world throws at us, he is our strength and our refuge, our ever present help in times of trouble. So when the outlook looks bleak, what do we do? Well, we can try the uplook, turn to him, seek his help which he has promised to give to all who follow him so let's pray together father god we thank you that you have promised to be our strength and our refuge our ever-present help in times of trouble help us lord to remember that help us lord to return to you whenever we feel a little bit desolate and lost help us lord to forget the outlook but concentrate on our outlook to bring you into our situation in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So you've been watching Bermondsey Daily Message, beautiful words from the beautiful book. Do join us again tomorrow for another message from somewhere else in Bermondsey. Goodbye.